Hey what's up everyone, ZT and Technology News here, and today I've got a really exciting video for you. The Apple iPod Touch has just made a return. So that's right, after 3 years of basically no upgrades whatsoever, and a lot of people assuming that Apple had just left the iPod Touch to rot, the music player is back, and honestly it's a better value proposition than ever before. So let me just go ahead and get the specs out of the way since that's the dull part. The iPod Touch now has iPhone 6 guts, an Apple A8 chip compared to the A5 in the previous model, and an 8 megapixel camera compared to the paltry 5 megapixel shooter of yesteryear. It has double the RAM now, a full 1GB, and then it also tosses in Apple's M8 Motion co-processor for activity tracking powers. Finally, the iPod Touch 2015 edition also comes in some familiar iPhone color options. You can now get the iPod Touch in space grey, silver, or gold, in addition to the more brightly colored pink, red, and blue hues it had previously. Now the only thing not updated about the iPod Touch is the display. It still is a 4 inch 1136x640 screen which is a little bit underwhelming especially in comparison to most smartphones right now. Now you can get a 16GB iPod Touch for $199, but it now scales all the way up to an 128GB storage model for $400. And in today's world of really high resolution movies, music, and games, you really wouldn't be crazy to opt for Apple's highest end storage option. So anyways, those are pretty much all the new upgrades in the iPod Touch 2015 edition, so let me just go ahead and quickly give my opinions on this media player. For a while now, a lot of people considered that the iPod Touch just wasn't right for them. They thought it was just basically a device for children, a chance to distract them with iOS games without having to spring for a tablet or bestowing them with a data plan. But with this new upgrade, the iPod Touch has become a much more useful device, and it could actually be useful to a lot of people. It's a smaller iOS device that's less cumbersome to use at the gym or on a run, it could be a backup iOS device that's half the price of the cheapest iPad, or also it could even be inexpensive access to iOS apps to complement a cheap Android phone. You could still do some of these with a 2012 iPod Touch conceivably, but even if that A5 processor was able to churn its way through iOS 8, it's unlikely that it could have held up to the demands of the incoming iOS 9. The lack of the M8 chip made the old iPod Touch neutered at best as an exercise companion, and the camera took photos that were nowhere near contemporary standards. The iPod Touch still isn't for everyone, it'll always be a niche product, but there's a reason Apple hasn't killed it yet, and why it's smart not to. After 3 years of waiting for the new iPod Touch, I think Apple's finally provided a really good upgrade to their media player, and I would definitely recommend it for most people. Even if you don't think it's the right device for you, I would just advise looking into it, and who knows, maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised. But give me your opinions about the new iPod Touch in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.